So I saw this picture the other day and I thought it was so cool. It's like looking through the woods and as you scan, you know, you see through a little opening and you see a tiger with a very fierce grimacing face looking at you. Um, I, I thought it was just so cool. Um, I wasn't sure if it was actually a real photograph or not, but I just thought it was it was just so cool. Um, and I thought to myself, like, man, I want to do a drawing of that. Um, so it's really, I'm just going to do a really small drawing here. Um, so basically, the, the tiger's face is going to be in this area. It's like right here. And around it, you just have like, you know, leaves and, and all kinds of stuff. Like, kind of like blocking the the view. So you can't really see it completely, but you just see the fierce face just just glaring through um, so okay let's see I'm just gonna sketch in the face of it right here and then afterwards I'll go in and, and lay in the ink work All right, so here we have the pencil drawing, um, and I'm hoping to capture that feel, like you know, you're seeing it peering through these, uh, you know, leaves and stuff like that. Um, let's see. I'm going to use maybe I'll use the uh, 005. This is the smallest tip that comes with the Micron Sigma Secure Pigma Microns. Um, this is a 005, and this is like the smallest tip you can use. Um, I may do some of the like the leaves and stuff with the five but I want to get a lot of the details with the the tiger and the fur and, and so on so I may use the the 005 to do that um, alright so let's have some fun with this
parts of this. Maybe I'll highlight the um, the eyes. All right, and clean up some of the uh, the graphite. Yeah, I want the, the whiskers to pop. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yep. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to sink this into shadow. Push it back. This, the chin is should be immersed in shadow at this point. There you go. Let the teeth remain sparkly white. Yep. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so it's really fun. Um, thing is with pen and ink is that it's a it's a really timely process. You really have to take your time and let the drawing build gradually. But um, it really teaches you to be patient, um, to be slow, and let your drawing build by layers. It teaches you how to pay attention to the function of line. You know, because a line in a pen and ink drawing can have a variety of functions. Um, it can, because it's all you have. <laughs> you know, so a line can serve the purpose of texture. It can serve, you know, a variety of, of um, purposes. So it makes you a little bit um, more particular about what you're using your lines to do. And that's why, you know, it was a highly regarded skill in the, skill in the past. I mean, it still is, but, you know, it's it's really one of the solid ways to teach yourself how to draw because it really challenges drawing skills you know so um, hopefully you guys learned something from this and uh, you know you can take something from this to apply to your your own drawings <laughs>